Now, yes, the question on everyone's lips today is, will David Beckham be fit enough to play at this year's World Cup in South Africa? Yesterday, during a game with AC Milan, David was carried off on a stretcher after suffering what officials are describing as an Achilles tendon injury. His plans to go to the World Cup are now in jeopardy. What a shame. So, um, has an injury ever ruined your plans? Well, it, I, it came sort of close-ish. I just started becoming loose. <laughs> just been a, become a loose woman and I picked the washing up in the bedroom and um, <laughs> broke two ribs not, not because I'm that small <laughs> but I literally leant over onto the sofa to pick up a pile of washing and socks on a wooden floor in the bedroom slipped over, fell onto Bo's old rocking horse which had like a wooden base on it with two bits that stuck out and they went between my ribs Ow. snapped Ouch. them Ouch. So that um, so I was off for about five five weeks. I was um, I wasn't very loose in. Well, I, in were you? I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> so all those get well cards you sent me—they weren't even from you. Then, eh? <laughs> no, Does that work. affect anything in your relationships at home? Um, anyway? Well, you can you can only shallow breathe when you've got broken ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Panting was no going on. Heavy <laughs> no, no heavy breathing. No heavy breathing. But it's amazing how other bits of your body become stronger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ways round it. Ways round. Yeah. Yes. Well, I've only ever. Um, I, well, I've only ever broken a bone once, and that was my big toe. When I, when we were boy, do we know about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, you know, how did you do that? I dropped a giant, heavy mirror on it. I was trying to look at, see if you could Yourself. see my knickers. <laughs> I was trying to look at my bum, to see if you could see my pants underneath my dress. And I was holding the mirror like that, and I just dropped it, and it went right on my toe. But that's and when you first met Mark, isn't that? It was. And then you had the funny boot then, didn't you? Yeah, I had to, on our first date, I had to wear that boot. I had to wear this giant boot. <laughs> and I put it up on the, on the little table in the pub. We went to the pub, yeah. and I was like, oh the, oh, the boot. Don't look at the boot. And he just went, I can't even see it. I thought, oh, oh. I love him already. He but, often um, says to her nowadays, get the boot out. Get though. the boot. Yeah. <laughs> get out your boot. Yeah. No, but I did, when I, just after I did that, I just booked a flight to go to Singapore to go and watch the first ever Grand Prix there. And I had to cancel it because I thought, I can't really be walking through airports with a it's broken a boot, toe. Man. So I had to cancel it and I lost all my air miles. Well, I know you find this hard to believe, but I could have been a singer. I could have been in Phantom of the Opera. But I got nodules, and my first job in rep, uh, singing too high, so it affects your vocal cords, a bit like Julie Andrew as well. You know, she sang probably better than I did. But... <laughs> and I literally, having strained my voice, woke up one morning and thought I'd pulled, because I heard this voice go, hello. And I thought, oh, that's me. <laughs> I got all excited for a moment, and, um, and I, I did, and it went from honestly being able to sing a top C quite high to this really did overnight. You have your own dirty phone call. Yes, yet? exactly. <laughs> but actually, actually how it no, was. and I and I couldn't do me, and I tried to do one more musical after that, and I it was such a strain to keep it going, and I I got so neurotic about losing my voice. For instance, you know, after a show, if you went out to a club or something, mm. and it was loud and smoky, and I smoked yeah. and drank red wine, did all the things you're not supposed to do, my voice just got worse and worse and worse. But it has kind of become your signature now. Well, it's it? weird, isn't it? Yes, but I would love to have gone to Broadway and sung rather beautifully, but that's not to be. Well, you still can, but no <laughs> yes. one will necessarily see you. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, I, I really sympathise with David Beckham, because I, when jogging first kind of hit this country from America, I thought, oh, I'll do a bit of that, and I was very young, and I went off, didn't have any training shoes, and just had these kind of fashion pump things. Oh, like Zola went... Bud, I thought you were going to have a Zola Bud moment. No, not then, quite didn't... barefoot. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> um, and then the next day, I inflamed my Achilles tenders. I didn't even snap them, and it was really painful. So, obviously, my marathon running career was sadly cut short, uh, which is a great shame. It's a relief. Oh, no. <laughs> these things happen. Yes, you choked. Well, we wish you well, David Beckham, and we'd be very yeah. sorry if you don't make it to the World Cup. So, fingers crossed, they might be able to sort you out. Um,